Oh, not a cleaning video, guys. Just kind of uh, got this going while I go over a couple things. There are some things I want to talk to you about. Uh, tell you about some things we got coming up and whatnot. Um, first question though I got for you is something that's kind of been bugging me for a while. Uh, maybe somebody out there can answer it for me. Why do some people have to be pricks? Now, I know you got some people that are just trolls and all this. And I know it's exactly what Mr. 45 Bullet Bill said many, many times, and he's so dead wrong right. The internet has made a lot of brave souls. A lot of these guys, 99, 95% of them at least, would never say to your face what they type to you. We understand all that. We know that. <clears throat> Case in point, I was watching a video earlier. A guy made a comment that I personally found offensive. I didn't jump all over his ass. I just told him, hey, that's your opinion. Please don't put the rest of us down that don't share your same opinion. And about three or four guys just jumped all over me. Okay, for, you know, just insinuating stuff left and right. And every reply and every comment back, I was very courteous, very respectful, but they just wouldn't have none of it. Why do they have to be such fucking dicks? I mean, I'm not ass hurt over or nothing like this. I don't even go down that fucking road. You, you thinking that, kiss my ass right now. But I'm just kind of wondering what the hell happened to just treating your fellow man decently. Now, I know we got some people that are trolls, and I'm not saying these guys, all of these guys may have been. They may have been fucking little old pissy ass pansy trolls. Hell, one of them, the guy who made the original comment, doesn't even have his channel live. I mean, visible. So maybe he is a troll. I don't know. I'm not accusing them of that. I just really wonder why some people have to be pricks. Anybody got a really good answer? Pop in, let us know. Now, I'll tell you all about a couple things coming up. Uh, guys, the, uh, the stream test that we did, the corrosion test that we did, had a lot of guys request some different products and stuff. And so, you know, of course, we did some. We did the Milcom and, and, and Frog Lube and stuff. And then we did Ballastol and CLP and, and Hoppies, Gun Oil and Rimmel, stuff like that. We've got some more products coming up, though, guys. I've had some people request. So I'm going to get this stuff ordered. Here in the next few weeks and we're going to do another one um, we're going to test um, a product that i'm actually really really interested in because i've heard so many good things about it. it's called ezox we're going to try that uh, weapon shield a lot of people have said a lot of good things about weapon shield uh, a product that a gentleman asked me about a couple of months ago called amsol um, we're going to test that i think it's amsol hd uh, Corrosion X, heard some good stuff about it as well. And there's another one that a guy just actually PM me yesterday, didn't PM me, but he commented, I had never heard of a call called Strike Hold. Went to their site, looked at it, looks like some really good stuff. So we're going to add that one to the mix too. And we're going to put our uh, extreme 100% uh, saline to it and see what happens. And the last thing I do want to mention is CCW and your rights. I started talking about that earlier. Guys, if you think that they're not that they're not after your gun rights and they're hard and heavy on it all the time, listen up. I went to a uh, city council meeting last week. We uh, there was a guy here that has a business in town, and he had a sign up, and he had it up for almost a year, still up, as a matter of fact, because uh, the way things worked out, had it up for almost a year. Okay, and it said all firearms welcome. Basically, the guy's a concealed carrier. He has no problem with you carrying in his business, all right? Some little libtard saw it and just went ballistic. She called the police standing outside of his business claiming that he was inciting violence. The police showed up looking around for somebody, for something going on, and she said, that man there is inciting violence. What man? The owner of this shop. Why? What did he do? What did he say? He didn't say anything. Look at the sign. I see Nicky he sign. Nicky he sign. He sign. He sign. He sign. He Ma'am, this sign's not inciting anything. It is legal to conceal carry in the state of Arkansas with proper permit. And she just went ballistic. She demanded they take that they make him take it down. Of course they didn't. And to the policeman's credit, um, he said, "Ma'am, you need to learn." your state laws because it's legal to carry in the state of Arkansas and that's there's nothing wrong with that sign. A lot of businesses around town guys now I'm just talking about Arkansas your state laws may vary make sure you understand them but in Arkansas if you're going to have a gun free zone and you don't want guns in your business 
it has to be marked 10 feet within 10 feet of every entrance into that building and it must state carrying of a handgun or firearm is prohibited it must be worded just like that it can't say no guns allowed it can't have the sign there with the pistol and the circle around it and the red line through it. you can have that but it's not a legal sign legally they can't do anything to, to you other than ask you to leave you're not breaking the law now you enter a business that has that legally marked sign then they could press charges on you so know your state's laws okay and in the state of Arkansas city ordinance does not trump state law so make sure that you understand your state laws but at any rate as I said I went to city council meetings this woman got 50 signatures she had she had to have 50 signatures to sign a petition to have this guy take his sign down she had like 53 she probably signed 35 of them or so anyway she shows up at this city council meeting and I went to it and a lot of people went to it because I kind of spread the word around about it and uh, <clears throat> she made her claim that it was inciting violence and all this <clears throat> And uh, he made the claim, said, look, it's been up for almost a year. Nobody has walked into my business shooting guns. Nobody has committed, uh, committed violence in any way around here. And she said, and I quote this, this is how I know that they're after our guns, guys. This is the type of people that we get to deal with. It's just a matter of time before one of you concealed carrier people go nuts and start shooting people, like in the, like in the movie theater said we just can't wait for that to happen then we're gonna get your guns so the guy was really really cool he looked at her and he said ma'am you mean to tell me you're wishing for innocent people to be shot and killed just so you can take our fire our carry rights away she said if that's what it takes I'm not lying that's an exact freaking quote city council said ah screw this it's over with get out of here that's what you're dealing with, guys. They're just waiting. Like I said before, they're just like, they're salivating. Every time there's a shooting, oh, please let it be a concealed carrier. Let it be. It's not. Oh, damn it. We're going to get one of you guys. And the thing that's sad here, guys, is this right here. Statistically, eventually, it's going to happen. And they're going to be on it like stink on shit. So, guys, your rights are constantly under, under attack. And, uh... Groups like the NRA, the GOA, the AS, the A, what is it, the SAF, Second Amendment Foundation, your local carry associations, your state carry associations. These guys fight battles that we can't fight on our own. We can keep calling our congressmen and our senators and we can do what we can, but you need to support these groups because they are the ones that lead the battle. So there it is. Guys, this video is getting long. I'm sorry it took so long. We may have to edit some of this crap out, but. I had to get some stuff off my chest. But anybody can answer that first question, please do. I would really like to know. Without being a prick. That's all I got. Later.